Today on BRS TV, we have our fifth episode, the Neptune series, Mounting the Apex and Wire Management. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV, where each week we cover a new topic related to reefing. This week, we're going to show proper mounting of your Neptune Apex Aquarium controller and ideas for wire management. The first thing to consider is orientation. All the modules are designed to be installed horizontally to your wall or cabinet. If you mount in any other orientation, there's a super high likelihood that the module will be dead within a year. It's all about drips, wet hands, moisture buildups, and leaks. Splashes can all send water running down the cord. Upside down or turn to the side like this, it's very easy for water to run directly down the cord and into the connector. If you mount it horizontally, it makes it very difficult for water to travel down the cord and then back up into the connections. In fact, the drier the location for mounting, the better. Make sure you also mount everything in an area where it's easy to access especially the probe connections, as you'll have to change the probes out occasionally. Make sure to give a few inches in between each module so you can easily get the cords in and out. Resist all temptation to mount your energy bar on a flat surface. Don't do this for even a single day thinking that you'll get back to it later. Cords are more or less drip freeways going directly into your expensive gear. The energy bar does have four holes for mounting it properly. However, one of them is behind a cord and hard to get to. As long as you mount the other three properly, you're going to be okay. It's also a bad idea to mount modules or energy bars to doors because the moving cables can get caught on things and pulled out or shorted. Try and avoid taut cords which sends water directly down into outlets. Proper use of drip loops is also critical. A drip loop can be a lot of things, but at minimum it means that there's a permanent bend in the cord before it reaches an outlet. It's best to use zip ties and adhesive clips to make sure the drip loop stays in place. The goal here is to have this tank up for many years. Trust me when I say proper use of drip loops is the most important component of maintaining your equipment and keeping the tank and home safe. The modules, energy bar, and display are all connected with the Aquabus USB style cables. They can be run daisy chain together, or you can use the energy bar six connections as a hub. Neither really presents a major advantage, so I do whatever allows you to route the cables better in your situation. It's also wise not to wrap signal cables like these around power cables, especially ballast cables, which are known for producing a lot of noise. Lastly, neatness counts. Something that looks neat typically is safer as well. Use of mounting boards can make routing cords and installing permanent drip loops much easier, not to mention look slick. These flat plastic adhesive tiles called mounting bases use zip ties to attach cables and can be found at basically any Lowe's or Home Depot. For probe cables or anything that may need to be moved at some point, these adhesive ratcheting clamps work well. If you have any questions or advice for your fellow reefers about apex mounting options, check out the comments area down below. If this is your first time with us, subscribe because we do this every week. See you all next week with another episode of BRS TV.